All right, so another example here of converting from a decimal to a fraction. I'm going to do it the exact same way. So here we have negative 0 0.155. So I'm just going to simply write that over 1. And then, I, again, I'm going to multiply by either 10 over 10, 100 over 100, 1,000 over 1,000, etc. I want to move the decimal place basically 1, 2, 3 times. That'll get rid of it. And the number of uh, zeros basically tells me what I need to multiply by. So what I mean is, you know, 1,000 uh, has 1, 2, 3 zeros that we see, and that moves at 1, 2, 3 decimal places. That's how I used to always think about it. So we'll multiply by 1,000 over 1,000. Well, the negative is still going to be there. We said uh, multiplying the numerator by 1,000 will simply uh, shift the decimal place over. So that's going to leave us with negative 155. And again, 1 over 1,000 is simply 1,000. And now kind of the, uh, the fun part, right? Uh, we can reduce this because certainly um, each one of these numbers is at least divisible, divisible by 5, maybe something else as well. So let's see. Um, and you can always do, you know, 155 divided by 5 off to the side and 1,000 divided by 5 off to the side if you want to see how they reduce. I always think about it, let's see, 5 times 30 would be 150. We would need another 5. So I think if we do 5 times 31, that's going to give us 155. Let's see, um, 5 times 2 would be 10, so 20 would be 100, and 200, I think, would give us 1,000. Okay, so again, I'm just writing the numerator and the denominator as 5 times some number, 5 times some number. We can cancel out those common factors. Uh, 31 is a prime number, so even though the denominator certainly factors a little further, there's not going to be any other common factors that we can eliminate that will help us reduce this fraction. So in this case, we've got it now simplified. So again, negative 0 0.155, we can write that as the fraction negative 31 over 200.